sometimes we see the gymnasts put their feet on the low bar to go back up high, sometimes release moves. Is releasing up high worth more points? Or? Well, it's just a requirement. It doesn't really have to have the difficulty necessarily, but um, there's a Healy right into her release move, a Jaeger. There's certain requirements that they have to do, and of course the kids can then choose which skills that they do. Bell to a handstand. They want to try to keep the routine flowing as much as possible. Brian having a little trouble on her form, on her pointing her toes on some of her skills. Nice high full twisting double back. Just a slight step at the end. How much tougher the bars routine for a gymnast as tall as Brianne, who's 5'8"? Well, that's a great point to make because it is a lot harder to swing being taller, and they have to work a little bit harder. That's why I had to cut my career short. 9.7 for Brianne King. That's like 53rd on the list, but it was on the list. Here's Tiffany Tolney for Georgia. Lachinko, one and a half twist and a great landing. She's tied for fourth nationally on this event, and you can see why. Nice lift, one and a half twist, a little bit harder than what we've seen line. already. 9.9 .9 for Tolney, a freshman from Grapevine, Texas. And now our first look at a sensational Florida freshman, Corey Hartung. She has some interesting combination work in this routine. And you'll see she uses her great flexibility on every event that she performs on. Delta handstand. There's a Corkina, a different release move than we've seen. the power into that dismount full twisting double back and a great landing and the crowd loves it at the o'connell center is courtney hartung her lines are so beautiful when she's doing her giants and just extremely confident even as a freshman and a 9-9 the highest for any gator on the bars this season now back to the vault and ashley coupettes Last year, Georgia had to compete some competitions with only five performers. You compete with six, they take the top five scores. They just didn't have the depth last year, but they definitely have it this year. You see your Chinko half to a front pike. They're being evaluated on their entry onto the vault, which was very well, and coming off nice and high and distance from the horse. And still we're seeing a step or a hop from just about everyone. This is relatively early in the season with the difficult vaults these women are doing. Florida sophomore Nicola Willis, who replaced Reed in the lineup. She was originally not going to be an all-arounder, but she is going all around tonight. And the great thing about putting someone like this in, she has such experience internationally that this is no pressure for her to come in and perform as this routine. Giant full, right into a Ginger. Bell to a handstand on the low bar. See the nice, strong power to a double layout. Little hop at the end there. Looks like she might have released a little bit early. If she'll just ride that a little bit longer, that'll help her on her landing. And Nicola Willis with a 9.825. We saw Randy Lane, the Gator assistant coach, in there just as we saw Jay Clark for Georgia for safety reasons, not needed. And Katie Heenan next up for Georgia on the vault. Chinko with a full twist, and one big hop at the end. She's the first team All-American, scored a high before of a 9.975, so very capable of getting close towards that 10-0 mark. She had a 9.95 in the Super 6, the NCAA Finals last year, and a 9.875 today for Georgia. And now Samantha Lutz, Gator Jr. out of Ohio. Samantha, an outstanding bars worker. And she's doing a new routine with some added difficulty this year as well. Up rise handstand, up pirouette. See a finger. She also tied with teammate Ashley Reed in regionals last year on this event. She's the regional bar champion. And now look at this dismount. Straight body, full twist and double back. The hardest dismount in collegiate gymnastics, and she nailed it. A terrific routine, and the crowd again says they want a 10. 
they've worked so hard to up their difficulty and then just to be rewarded with such a great landing. Well, they don't get the 10, but a 9-9 for Samantha Lutz, matching the best for a Gator this year. Yuchenko half, front pike. One big hop at the end. These kids have so much power, none of them seem to be able to control it. Half twist on, nice lift, great height, and maybe just held that pike a little too long. And Courtney Kupetz gets a 9-9 despite the hop. So Kupetz again challenging for an individual title, and our Florida final bars worker will be Cherie Owens. And she has anchored Florida's bars lineup in each meet so far this season. She's also been working to add another release move that she may put in later on in the season. So you're working up to the high bar. Toe on toe off. Giant full. Look at that high release move, reverse heck. Strata back to handstand and she was actually not supposed to do the half turn out. She's trying to cover up a mistake there. Nice Giants. Into a full twisting double back. A little bit low on the landing and one big step. That's really going to hurt her score. Nice lift. Just didn't hold that tuck tight enough. And Cherie Owen settles for a 9.65 for Florida. So we're midway through the meet. We head on over for the Gators on the beam and Georgia on the floor.